Hey everybody, welcome to La Cocina de Tao. Today I'm making something simple but very, very delicious. This is hot dogs um, inspired by the way they make them in Sonora, the state Sonora in Mexico. Um, you're gonna love it. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, uh, subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Facebook at La Cocina de Tao and Instagram at La Cocina de Tao. Okay, here are the ingredients you'll need for the Sonoran hot dogs. Uh, we're gonna use some um, some hot dogs here. This is my favorite band, Nathan's. We're going to uh, wrap them in some bacon. You're going to need some tomatoes. Um, I'm going to use some roasted garlic salsa. Also some guacamole with pico de gallo on top. You can use any kind of toppings you want. I'm going to use some onion. You need to use some toothpicks to hold the bacon onto the hot dog. You can use mayonnaise. Uh, mustard and ketchup and these french rolls here traditionally in sonora they use bolillos which is like a variation of a baguette uh, they uh, came up with this idea because france was rule was ruling mexico back in the 1860s so they kept the bolillo, bolillo recipe so we're going to cut up the onions here la, 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 la casa del merengue la, la, Okay, we're also going to dice up some tomatoes. Um, traditionally, they do put diced up tomatoes on top of the wiener and then whatever toppings you want to put. Um, I cut up the onions because I want to grill them as well. Musica, musica de la República. Okay, what we're going to do next is just simply wrap the bacon around the hot dogs um, using the toothpicks to hold the end parts. If you don't have any toothpicks, just make sure you sear first the end part of the bacon where it ends um, onto the pan surface. That way it kind of creates a little seal. So just simply wrap the bacon around the hot dogs and uh, we'll put them on a plate on the side.
Okay, so I have a pan here on medium low heat, more to low. Uh, we're going to cook, uh, grill these onions for about uh, 15 minutes. So we're gonna put some extra virgin olive oil or any kind of oil you want. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt, that way they uh, soften up and, and uh, caramelize a little bit. So we're gonna sweat them out here. And again, just cook them for about 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. They're not totally caramelized. Uh, they're getting close to that point, and that's what I want. So we're gonna turn the flame off, and we're gonna start cooking the hot dog leeks. Okay, so I have the flame on medium low heat and we're just going to place all the hot dog links on here. Uh, it depends um, on the time for the cooking process. It depends how you like them. If you, some people like them extra crispy, the bacon. Uh, some people like them kind of medium. It all depends on your taste. I like them more close to the crispy side. So I, it took me about, say, 15 minutes in total uh, to cook these all down. So I have it on medium low and I started noticing that they were kind of um, not burning up, but the flame was a little bit too high, so I turned it down too low. So in total, it took me about 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and this is the way I like them. As you can see, they're nice and crispy on the outside. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put these on the paper plate with the paper towels and let all the oil uh, drain out. Okay, so we're gonna grab our French rolls here. Again, I don't have bolillo. I didn't, don't have bolillo where I live in Washington, unfortunately. But if they do in your, in your uh, state or wherever you live, just go ahead and use some bolillos, cut it open like a boat. Just take all the insides out and then just stuff the hot dog links in. Uh, traditionally, they put it, uh, like I said, they wrap it around bacon and they do use diced up tomatoes and also beans. Um, so, what I'm doing here, I'm just putting the grilled onions and they do traditionally put mustard on top with ketchup and mayonnaise. Okay, and they also use like pickled jalapenos, uh, or what I did. Um, and what they did too sometimes is they grill or char up a uh, white jalapeno and they put in the bowl with, and that's what I did, put in the bowl with uh, lime juice and salt pepper and just let it marinate for like 15 minutes or so and just bite into it after you take a bite of your hot dog. Uh, trust me, you're gonna enjoy this. This is a really good uh, recipe. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, subscribe subscribe to my channel and you can find me on Facebook, Ala Cocina de Tavo and Instagram, Ala Cocina de Tavo. Thank you for watching.